Hi, I am Peter Rolofs and I am a trainer at Zeiss Meditech. Zero 6000, the next generation OCT from Zeiss, delivers high-speed image capturing with HD imaging detail and a wider field of view. For glaucoma detection and management, the optic disc cube delivers important information about the peripapillary nerve fiber layer thickness and ONH parameters like cup to disc ratio and euro retinal rim thickness. This video will show you in a short form of how you can acquire a cube scan for ONH assessment on the Cirrus 6000. Start by selecting an existing patient from the patient ID screen, add a new patient or import a scheduled patient from the modality work list if the Cirrus is connected with forum. To acquire a scan for this patient, click Acquire. Now you will see the Acquire screen. From the scan selector at the top under the appropriate eye, OD, select Optic Disc Cube 200 by 200. Once the scan has been selected, the automated chin rest will go to the default position for the selected scan type and eye. Wait until the chin rest's automatic positioning is complete before instructing the patient to place his or her chin on the chin rest. For the right eye, use the blue marked position. Ask the patient to rest their chin on the chin rest and their forehead against the forehead rest. Adjust the table up and down for correct height. Ask the patient to sit comfortably. Proper alignment of the patient eye to the marker is crucial to obtain a good scan. Instruct the patient to first look straight into the imaging aperture and focus on the green star fixation target as soon as he or she can see the fixation target. For the right eye, the green star will appear to the right of the center position. Ask the patient to blink naturally throughout the alignment process. Now start the alignment in the iris viewport. Center and focus the iris image using the controls to the right of the iris viewport. Center the iris image within the iris crosshairs by clicking on the center of the pupil. The chin rest will automatically move to the center of the eye. Try to get the iris as clear as possible before proceeding to the next step. Use the two lower big buttons in the iris viewport. This will bring the patient towards or away from the camera lens. Remind your patient to keep their chin down and to move with the chin rest. Now the next step. The fundus viewport displays the live fundus image, the scan pattern and the fixation target. After aligning the iris, focus the retina next. You can use the autofocus button or adjust manually. The fundus should be sharp and clear and well illuminated. For optimal signal strength, now click the Optimize button. This will automatically enhance and center the OCT scan patterns. A properly aligned scan is slightly above the center in each scan window. After you are satisfied with all previous steps, let the patient blink once again and click Capture. During fast track acquisition, after clicking Capture, a screen appears that shows the scan in progress and provides controls to adjust and help to complete the scan. Once data acquisition is complete, scans must be reviewed for acceptance prior to being released for analysis. The Scan Quality Check screen appears automatically upon completion of data acquisition. To assist in scan review, the scan signal strength and the fundus image quality score is displayed on a scale of 0 to 10, with 10 being maximum. Signal strength values less than 6 are generally unacceptable. A fundus image quality score 6 or above confirms that the quality is satisfactory to be used for a future scan. After assessing the scan, save the new scan or repeat it by clicking Try again. When you have finished recording, click Finish to exit capture mode and you are directed back to the patient administration screen. Thank you for watching.